square it. But the domain will still judge your answer. This is a math guy, Steve. Solve because you got the square root of 2x plus 5 equals x plus 1. So, how we solve this is by squaring both sides. If we square this left hand side, it gets rid of the radical, right? So, we have 2x plus 5 squared on the right hand side. Well, that means we have to multiply that by itself. In other words, FOIL, right? x plus 1 times itself. So, if we multiply this out, okay, we get 2x plus 5 equals. This becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now it's quadratic, so it gets 0 on one side. Factor the other side, set each factor equal to zero. So subtracting 2x and subtracting 5, we get zero equals x squared. Subtract 2x, the x's cancel. And so subtracting 5, we get minus 4. Now factoring the other side, it's the difference of squares. So we can factor that as x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay? So we got zero on one side, we factor the other side, set each factor equal to zero. So solving each of these separately, we get x equals negative 2. And x equals positive 2. And that would be our solutions. However, because it's a radical equation, we have to check it, meaning we have to check against the restrictions on the domain. Or in other words, plug it back into the original equation, see if we get a true statement. So plug in negative 2, we get the square root of 2 times negative 2 plus 5. Is that equal to negative 2 plus 1? Is this true? Well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 5 is 1. So that's the square root of 1. Is that equal to negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1? Is this true? Well, this is the principal square root, meaning the positive square root, right? Because that square root is already there. And so we get 1. Is that equal to negative 1? This is not true. Meaning negative 2 is not a solution to this original equation. Plugging in 2, we get the square root of 2 times 2 plus 5. Is that equal to 2 plus 1? Is this true? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9. The square root of 9, is that equal to 2 plus 1 is 3? Is this true? Again, the principal square root, the positive square root of 9 is 3. So 3 does equal 3, meaning 2 is a solution to this equation, whereas negative 2 would be extraneous. Always remember, math is everywhere.